impl or implementation a way to add methods to a struct to make it more useful. To be more clear, it's an item that associates items with an implementing type. Implementations are defined with the keyword impl and contain functions that belong to an instance of the type that is being implemented or to the type statically. There are two ways of implementations, inherit implementations and trait implementations. But in order to see how impl works, you will need to create a struct. In this case, I will have a struct with the name house. Inside it, I will have width and height both of integer of 32-bit characters. Now that we've created the house struct, we can now declare a variable called my underscore house and this variable is going to be of house struct and it will take the width and the height as parameters. Now inside your implementation, go ahead and create a function that prints the house dimensions and notice here the ampersand self that refers to the house struct. Now very simply, you can take my house variable and access the print dimension house function. And in the RBE or Rust by example page, you will find a lot of examples, but I created this one for you just to make it simple. Now back to our main function, you can go ahead and run the play button or you can cargo run the program. And what we expect to see is the self width and the self height plugged inside those curly braces. I've created another function to actually calculate the width and the height, not just to plug the 500 and 250 as if they were strings. The variable called calculation will take the self.width multiplied by the self.height. And back to the main function, we will enter the my house variable and we will access the calculate dimension house. And you will get both the dimensions and the calculation.